So how do you view sort of the, the feminist side of the equation? I mean, there's a lot that men, men have a lot of views about feminism, right? Yeah. We, we, I think since, since the time I've been paying attention, the 90s, 2000s, there's always been this pushback against this, right? And I suppose now with the emergence of even Andrew Tate for all the negativity, there's clearly a lot of people that are interested in what he has to say, a lot of men that are interested in what he has to right. say. This is like a, a, just a response, isn't it? It's like a reaction to, is it a reaction to um, feminism and let's say the women's rights movements and sort of, do you think men have sort of felt that we have pushed back overtly? Is that something that you, you, you see or you feel in the media or in like your own like social circles? Do you think it's a conversation that that's happening? How do you feel? I think that is basically, if, if you were brought up, right and you found out that everything that is wrong with the world is your fault yeah right and yeah and you want to find a solution to that but then it is just you being a man that's the problem yeah and then a couple of guys come into the pitch and say okay so maybe that's not it yeah <laughs> you want to hear that more than yes everything that's going wrong in the world is your fault um i think also especially guys like entertain they became a role model ideally because they were the idea of what every guy in their team is supposed to be. He's in shape, he's rich, he has good cars, and he has a lot of hot girls. Mm. It, it is that. And, and a part of, I think, masculinity, even when we were young, right? I used to watch a lot of cartoons like, I mean, except like He-Man and Dragon Ball Z. But yeah. it isn't because that you can get strong to repress anybody or make anybody feel bad. It is that the end goal was to save the world. Mm. And you wanted to be strong enough to protect your family. Mm and your friends to save the world against threats. And I think a lot of guys um, embody that. It's just that every time when we grew up, uh, we were told, oh yeah, so everything that's wrong with the world is your fault. Um, I think they were looking for somebody to say, maybe it's not. And I think that's what gave rise to, especially under Yeah, Yeah. Um, I, I, is there something to do with like a uh, certain social status? I mean, one of, the masculine traits that's quite famous as being a caregiver, a provider, you know, someone that's looking after a family, providing for them, protecting them. Is this, uh, is there a certain social status that's derived from this, you know, and, you know, the, you've reached sort of a pinnacle of being a man if you're a family man, you're married and you have children. Yeah. That is also an interesting aspect, don't you think? Like, where if you're over a certain age and you're single, there's a certain threat level or something yeah. that's raised. How do you feel about that dynamic? I mean, uh, you're a single man, not right? So uh, explain that, that, that dynamic. Do you get a lot of, oh, we should, you should be getting married now, you know, settled down. What is the, I know how I got it <laughs> 10 years prior or 15 years prior. So how is it uh, for you? Um, I think, especially in traditional culture like Sri Lanka, every guy has it. From the second you hit maybe 18, and you're getting married too we're getting married and all the aunties will come together and say ah oh, well recommendation A, B, C, D we can have an interview session for you too um, I think after a while that kind of wears down um, especially for guys I, I think it's always at the back of my mom's mind as to when is she going to be a grandmother and that is not something I can hopefully change sometime soon until I get married but I think now what's happening is the entire trend of marriage is kind of favoring in that because of the economic situation, the world is in. Um, given that um, housing now is about 10 times more what housing was back then. I think my parents, hopefully, have also understood that marriage might not be ideal right now. But it's always back. It, it comes to your social outbreak. You, know, you saw your friends' kids getting married. You saw yourself getting married. Hopefully, in that rite of passage for boy to be man you should be married and you should have kids so I think that the pressure is kind of on and off it's an every morning sort of situation where um, is it going to be this or this right what do you, what are your thoughts on I mean the institution of marriage per se yeah. the concepts of, of this idea of monogamy and, and marriage do you have a specific take on it do you think that, I mean in your own personal lives we've all had marriages that are very strong and marriages that just didn't last and marriages that have been good for the children and marriages that have been bad for the children so um, do you have any thoughts on this I and mean, how do you feel about marriage per se total I if you ask me this question two years back I'd say it's a hoax it makes no sense you might as well just live with a partner right right um, you can have a baby too that's completely fine right 
Um, but now I think there is some sort of sanctity to marriage, right. where it is you and her, or you and him versus the world, right? Um, and it's what made you change? Your, I mean, how did you? How have you used transition? What's the reason for that? Do you think? I was just growing up, seeing more relationships, or what is it? I think I think after a while you come to the idea that I mean, given who I am, and this is not to boast, but given who I am and the social circle I'm in, um, I've been privy to how superfluous a very a polyamorous relationship might be. Correct. Right? Where every day something very it's very superficial. Right. Um and you get to a point where like, oh okay, so I think I want something more. Right. I, I want to Yeah. Something a bit a bit more feel into it. Right. Um so after that I started realizing okay, so maybe maybe I should be settling down. Um but that is also to say is that is that me putting an artificial pressure on myself then to get married? Am I not getting married because I really want to get married? Am I getting married because of this reason or that reason? But to me it it still resonates with me that after a long day at work, you coming home to your wife's cooking should be your idea of peace. Okay. That's your idea of peace. That's an interesting idea of peace. Okay, that's good. I like